Yeah. I, I kind of want Pitzer to win. Um, you know, I, I drove him up here today, so I'm all like, hey, I'm not going to give you a ride unless you win this tournament. Pitzer beat me, and it was, like, pretty bad, too. Like, I, I don't even think I took a stock in the second game. Yeah, like, when he switched to um, Robin. That was smart, though. He yeah. knew what he was doing. Uh, this here, uh, this matchup is, you know, Chaz basically, you know, is one of the better players in the area here. Yeah, he's a top fiver for sure. If this would came out more, people would probably think more of him. I know how good he is. I just don't think all of Sova knows how good he is. Yeah, one of, uh, you know... The only thing I could really fault Pitzer on is that he plays too many characters. He really does. Um, and he switches off of uh, his mains uh, when he shouldn't. So, I do remember these two did play at TCW, and it actually went to Game 5, but Chaz did win. Yes. Chaz that was won exciting, TCW, though. I believe. Right? Yeah, Chaz did win TCW. Yeah. He's been doing pretty well lately. His record against everyone that isn't Gimpy is pretty good. All right, so right hey, now, um, you know, I don't really know how Sonic does against Zero Suit Samus. Lots of Sonics don't like it. I know he that. seems to, you know, to be doing really well so far. It's only taken 67 percent against wow. a Zero Suit Samus, who's you know regarded as one of the better characters in this game. Sonic as well is regarded as one of the better characters in this game, though. Like Sonic's so good. His Ooh. effective grab range is amazing. I'm not saying grab range. I know his actual grab range yeah. is pretty bad, but his effective grab range is good. Yeah, but basically, yeah, because of just how fast he yeah, is, he can close speed. the distance. Ooh, nice forward smash to punish uh, Zero Suit Samus's forward smash. Yeah, that was more so a mistake on, by Pitzer's part. Good on Chaz to realize Ooh. when he can F smash. And Sonic's recovery is, is really good. If you didn't kill him, he can yeah. get back on the stage from pretty much any point. That was not... That won't kill either. Zero Suit's up smash is not particularly strong. However, she makes up for it in many other ways. Oh, I was hoping for a falling up air there. It looked like that's what Pitzer was trying to do, but I guess I read it incorrectly. He's B reverse and Paralyzers now. Nice. Wow. The down air that actually didn't go fast. It was just so slow. Okay. This is looking worse and worse for Pitzer as the game goes on. Yeah, he's he's going to need to get this kill, like, right now in order to even this up. I like the falling up air, but it didn't kill. Chaz is sitting at 150 and hasn't died yet. Oh, and he reads a jump. And everything he's doing right now, every single percent, it is just makes it even harder for Pitcher to be able to come back. And the pummels. Pitcher's got to get his mashing game on point. I don't think he wanted to mash uh, just because he That's thought he might fall off of the stage and get uh, a random aerial that he All didn't want. All it takes is a solid mistake from Chaz, and Pitcher can, like, kill him. Yeah, you can get the yeah. zero-to-death combo with, with zero suit Samus. And Pitcher's more than capable. Right now, uh, Chaz seems to be in control. All right, I like that flip kick. As long as he uh, is, uh, hits or stays in the middle of the stage, he's not going to die by, uh, you know, by a throw. Yeah. And so the only thing you'd have to really worry about then is probably like a forward smash or a back air. Pitzer's rage is looking real, and that's the scary part for Chaz. Like he hasn't gotten touched yet. Yeah, he's still but... at zero percent, so he's still pretty safe right now. But, you know, if he does get those up air chains into uh, the up B with the added knockback from Max Rage right now, yeah, like, that could, uh, you know, be an early stop. But the thing is, Pitzer is going to have to risk going for that ground. Yo, he, that was well, he a little bit too, too risky for me. Chaz really wants to grab. He's whiffed two already. Yeah. Right now, Pitzer's on the edge of the stage. This is dangerous. If he gets a grab right there on the edge of the stage, Oh, that. All right. Wow. Sadby's all right. That's the third grab where And this one. Yeah. And that just proves that if Ooh. you grab enough, no matter how much you miss, you will get it. Oh, and the back throw. Yeah. yeah that killed Um, mainly because it was just like at 180%. So. Yeah. I'm wondering if he's going to go right. 
Uh, Pitzer doesn't look too phased. Uh, you know, his facial expression didn't change. But of course, you know, he's going to do his, his patented thing, which is, is switch characters. But at least he went to another one of his characters that he actually mains here. Uh, it's not, you know, a, a third I, or fourth I like this character. Idea. I don't, Chaz doesn't like really much at all. Yeah. I remember him complaining about the character, like, the week he was released. I don't know. That probably means he, like, is prepared for it, at least. Yeah. All you right. have to know the character to be able to complain. So. I like the Dancing Blade. And right now, um, you know, with this Roy pick, he's actually able to, to wall out more and stop Sonic's approaches. Yeah, Roy is looking pretty good so far. He really just has to watch out for Chaz's grabs. That's most of his openings so far. Oh, All right. nice grab. Nothing out of a grab. This time, however, right, that move doesn't have much end lag. So you can just like dash away right after using it or like grab or something. Watch, I'm, I'm waiting for the Pitzer special. He's going to grab him to delay and then forward smash. He's going to awesome. read the spot dodge and he's going to forward smash after he gets the grab. I like that there. He's reading Jazz really Ooh. well right now. Like really well. Punishing those spin dashes. Chaz reads the air dodge, gets a forward air response. Alright, that's the first mistake. But he's, he's in a commanding fun. lead here. Yeah, he's he's getting grabbed too much. Oh, that and the up B out of uh, shield for the kill. There Chaz we go. did unsafe shield pressure right there. And he's gonna get up B because of it. I was going to tell Fitzy to go Roy right off the bat, but I did not get a chance. Yeah, but I mean, he figured it out so far and, it, and yeah. it's doing well. Um, um, it, as long as he, wow, he almost died right if there. If he doesn't mess up, it'll be a little while before Chaz can kill him. And the Dancing Blade, we actually were seeing that a lot uh, used yesterday by, by him. Chaz was not in attendance yesterday for Smash Fridays. Ooh, just missed the up air. Nice. Nice fair chain. That. Yeah. Oh, and that could have been a, a death right there. If that had connected. That's, yeah. that's actually the second time that he's used the flare blade to predict a homing attack. That's very interesting. Like, it's worked. Well, it hasn't really worked because it didn't. Oh, wow. God, that DI yeah, was shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, aside from that, you know, the bad DI. Yeah, um, no, he's much, still in the lead, so he yeah. can afford to make mistakes. It's not too much of a problem right now. Like, yeah, I would predict Fitzer to take this game too here. Yeah, you, here, here it comes. See, right there, that was actually, he was going for it, but, uh, you know, Chaz decided to up B out of it. He was waiting for that spot dodge there. Yeah, one of the really good things that Sonic can do to mix up his landing is up B and then mix up a down air. As the up B drops a spring, which has a hitbox. Well, you can B reverse it? Yeah, beautiful B reverse there. Wow. i would never actually seen that B, uh, B reverse. I've never seen it. I only, I only assumed you could do it. Pitzer it making is. use of oh. all of the tech. Wow, <laughs> it's straight to death. I just like seeing Sonic die, I'm sorry. Um, I would wager that Roy has a real decent matchup versus Sonic. Yeah, and as a guess. I mean, just looking at that, you know, um, I personally think that that's a, a good matchup for Roy. I don't know if I want to call it favored. I'm going to go ahead and say 50 50. At least say it's even, yeah. I, I don't want to... Like, because Sonic has very, very few matches that you could truly consider losing. And we're going to Halberd. Um, so, this stage, um, some people hate it, some people really like it. I guess Chaz likes it, because he just liked it. I don't know who this, this stage really favors. To me, it doesn't feel like Sonic has that much room to run around on this stage. Exactly. So I think that Roy would be, like, right now on this uh, portion of the stage, I think that Roy has the advantage. Maybe Sonic might get a couple of uh, up throw to, to up air early kills, maybe, yes. but an up B yeah. out of shield can kill with Roy. So Most of the time when you counter pick a stage because of its ceiling, it usually works both ways. Gotta be careful. Oh. No. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, uh, the spring was really expected there. I'm not at all surprised to see that. 
And Roy's recovery, you know, the up is a great move, but it does lack distance. Yeah, he fell for the grab. That was a nice grab there. Wow, he, he teched that. Oh, that was it was a good read. Dangerous. It, it, it was a good read because he rolled there, and I think that might be death. Oh, he no. made it. Wow, I didn't even think he was going to quite make it. Yeah, I thought that was it. Up throw. Up throw to up air. Up there it is. The early Spring kill. up air. See? He's not out of this yet. Roy is very powerful. Yep. We're, we're going to be getting to the more janky part of the stage soon. We're landing on Halberd. There are numerous hazards here. Some wow. people cite them as a... And I think that that's it. And Chad's wow. going to take it 2-1 over Pixar. Wow, that, that was a very good sequence there at the end by...